After the seismic shifts in focus, staff reductions and structural overhauls experienced across various workforce domains, we now find ourselves several years beyond the pandemic's onset. This report goes beyond the surface, exploring other pertinent workforce issues shaping the landscape of higher education today. So what are the key takeaways from the report? Teaching and learning professionals want hybrid options for work. First off, a majority of respondents felt that having access to remote or hybrid work options is important. In fact, two thirds reported that they do currently have options for remote hybrid work. We also found that a lot of respondents mentioned juggling more than one main responsibility. This might keep growing thanks to staff shortages and budget constraints. In fact, 85% indicated that they have more than one primary area of responsibility. Teaching and learning professionals express a desire for the institutions to broaden the availability of professional development opportunities. The time spent on tasks like artificial intelligence, faculty training, and online learning has shot up. On the flip side, the time needed for staff education, library, and managing and designing learning spaces has gone down. Heavy workloads are contributing to burnout and adversely affecting mental health and morale. Among those who reported experiencing a lot of burnout in the past 12 months, 82% cited an excessive workload, in contrast to 47% among those experiencing little to no burnout. As we move forward, it's important to focus on boosting the well being and morale of staff. It's a key priority. In the ever shifting realm of teaching and learning, now is the time to explore ways to lend better support for handling all these changes. Adaptability, agility, and change management will be extremely important skills for teaching and learning professionals now and in the future.